Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am bringing you five tips for successful photo shoot and showing you some behind the scenes footage. Tip number one, select outfits. I think it's very important that you have a variety of outfits and if you're a dancer like me, I usually tend to bring a couple dance outfits and also just lifestyle slash like casual outfits that I would wear every day. Here are some examples. And I also think about brands that I would like to someday be a part of and be able to model for them. So I have a lot of five dancewear, Honeycut, and brands like that that I like to bring to my photo shoots to shoot in. Also, something else you can do that's very helpful is that make sure that you try all your outfits on to make sure that they fit perfectly and make sure that they're ironed and pet hair free because I know that is definitely a problem with all my outfits. <laughs> Tip number two. Find poses. I think that it's really easy to get sidetracked and not know what poses to do, but you usually have a limited amount of time with the photographer, so you wanna come prepared with many poses. What I like to do is I like to look on Pinterest or just on the internet and find dance po poses that meet my strength. Also, what I like to do is look up on Instagram different hashtags and usernames of people that I know have taken dance photographs before. It really, really helps. Another thing that you could do is dance through your photo shoot. So what I mean by that is that if you can't find enough poses, you can always just dance through and kind of improv and hopefully the photographer can just get a couple cool shots of you in the moment. As you can see, my cat has decided to join. Come here. Say hi to Katie. Tip number three, the packing list. So something me and my mom like to do is we do head, shoulders, knees, and toes, which basically means that anything I'd possibly wear on my head, we go through and make sure to pack, and then tops, bottoms, etc. And I'm just gonna start off with showing you my outfit for tomorrow. This is what I'm wearing to the photo shoot. It's just a little dress with this little coat. And my photographer recommended wearing loose clothing because we don't wanna have any lines or anything that could show if I wore a leotard to shoot in. And then I'm also wearing shoes, <laughs> just little sandals. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you things that are packed in this humongous bag that I'm using tomorrow. So starting with, I have some point shoes because I know I wanna take a couple pictures in my point shoes. And I also have tap shoes. So these are what I packed when I went over what I was gonna be wearing on my feet. And I also have Doc Martens that I'm wearing as well. I also brought this steamer. It helps steam my clothes if that was ever needed. I also have this flat iron for my hair if I needed to touch it up a little bit. Then I have hairspray for any flyaways that might occur. Next, I'm gonna be opening up this little bag. It's a very pretty color. So we've got these, if you know, you know. We've also got this, if you know, you know. And then we have some root to tip serum. This is for your hair. It's also to make it smooth, nice smooth look. And then we have lots of brushes. <laughs> this looks like my competition bag. It basically is. So I have this slickening hairbrush that basically hurts your head. And then I have this to part my hair with. I also have these blonde hair ties with safety pins and bobby pins, just in case of an emergency. And then only three more things in this bag. I have elastic hair ties. And I also have So Juicy lip gloss and this plain lip gloss, just in case my lips need a little touch up. So that's what it is in this magenta bag. Let me put it all back. And then two more items for you in this bag. I have these Cetaphil makeup wipes. And I also have my makeup. I bring my own makeup to the shoe and this is makeup that I, I wear every day. Another thing I wanna mention is that I bring this makeup just for touch-ups. I already have my makeup done when I arrive at the shoe. And yeah, that's all that's in this humongous bag. Tip four, arrive early to the shoot. This is very, very important. I can't stress enough because as I said before, the photographer usually only gives you a limited amount of time to shoot and you wanna make the most of that time and get the most shots in multiple different outfits. So it's very important to show up me and my mom like to show up about 15 minutes early and start stretching and be ready. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You always wanna be ready and limber enough to do any poses. Honestly, be in the first shooting outfit so you can just be ready right when the photographer gets there. Also, sorry guys, going back to tip number two, make sure that you know your strengths. 
So I could try doing a pose like this, but I'd end up looking like this. So that's why I do poses like this and look like this when I accomplish them. So summary is know your strengths and make sure that you don't try the most flexible things if you're not that flexible. So for me, I don't have a lot of back flexibility or even hamstring flexibility, so I won't try a lot of big back archy bending myself in half. So just know your strengths. We finally made it to tip number five. Tip number five is to be focused, polite, and professional. What I mean by that is you always wanna say your please and thank yous and introduce yourself. You always wanna to listen to directions. You should always have an adult with you because you're supposed to feel safe and comfortable the whole time and the shoot is really about having fun. And if you love what you're doing, it's gonna be so much fun. Thank you guys so much for listening to my five tips and I hope these help you whenever you have your next photo shoot. Now enjoy some behind the scenes footage. Morning everyone, it is the day of the photo shoot. It is, it is about 8 a.m. I'm on my way. The sun is rising. I'm very excited. We're listening to Greatest Showman. And all I have to do when I get there is stretch and we'll start. So let's do this. Okay everyone, we just got done with my first outfit of the day. I don't want to spoil too much of it because you're definitely going to be seeing it on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. And let's go into the next outfit. Hey y'all, I'm in a window. Hello everyone and welcome back to my interview for today. And our special guest is Ed Wood Photography. Hi. So Ed is one of my favorite photographers and I am part of his ambassador team. So Ed, I'm going to interview you just a little bit. Okay. And my first question is, what is your favorite thing about photography and why do you like doing dancers? And uh, photography in general, I was always interested in ever since I was a young kid. Um, always loved capturing pictures. Um, started with film, and so I worked my way all the way up now. I'm doing digital. Um, but the reason why I started working with dancers is I love the lines, the shapes that the dancers can do. Um, so instead of taking like a landscape photo, I love what, how the dancers kind of put their form and how to capture that, especially capture motion. That's one of the things that I really enjoy. Plus I like portraiture, um, just in general. Um, I love doing, working with people. And so it was just the next evolution for me to actually start working with dancers. That's perfect, because I'm a dancer, you guys didn't know. <laughs> So me and Ed work great together. And yes. then my second question for you is, when anyone comes in to shoot with you, if they're dancing, what are your expectations of them? How do you get a successful shoot? Um, be prepared is one of the biggest things. Um, some of the dancers that I work, they're so excited um, when they come. Um, they work so much on their hair and their makeup, but when they come, they're not stretched out, they're not ready um, to, to actually really do the poses. And so when they get into shooting, um, they're not stretched out. So some of those poses we don't get to capture, um, some of those things that we were on our wish list that we wanted to get. Um, so I, I guess the, what, I, what I'm trying to say is just come prepared, make sure you're stretched out. Uh, make sure that you have your poses, make sure that they're practice way before time. Um, even up to the time that you're actually coming for your shoot, just make sure that you're kind of prepared, ready to go. Perfect, yay! Thank you, Ed, and make sure you go follow Ed on all his social media at Edward Photography, and hopefully you can shoot with him someday. Thank you, Ed, for being our special guest, thank and you. thank you guys for watching, and hope you enjoyed. Thanks.